In Delhi, Rajini Vadyanathan has been finding out how one simple solution is already bringing better sanitation to an estimated 10 million people a day. Less than half of India's population has access to an indoor toilet. In fact, more people in the country own a mobile phone. With very few public lavatories, many people are forced to go in the open. That has huge health consequences, particularly for women and children. Over the years, there's been very little interest or investment in the sector. But one man is using innovation to try and change that. Dr. Bindeshwar Patak is an internationally recognized sanitation pioneer and founder of Sulab International, the largest non-profit organization in India. So what's access to toilets like today? Even today, 70% uh, people in the rural areas have no access to safe and hygienic toilets. They go for defecation often. And urban areas, still 23% people, they don't have these facilities. What's the problems that people then are at risk at if they're going, you know, to the toilet in the open? It causes 50 diseases. Most important is the cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, sometimes epidemics also, hookworm, roundworm. And that's because faecal matter is just left in the open, yes, in the sun. Yes. To overcome the problem of providing sanitation in areas without access to a sewage system, Dr. Parthak's invented a simple toilet using two pits dug into the ground, connected to a traditional squat lavatory, which reduces water use and needs no chemicals to treat it. Right, That's so you, you do that to clean. So it comes down this pipe here. Costing as little as $15 to build, the twin pit system uses just 1.5 litres of water per flush, compared with a conventional flush toilet, which uses around 12. Now, what happens next? Now, here is the sea. There's a bottom. Explain this pit to us, then. And then, uh, this is the soil. There's no concrete. So there's a soil bottom? Yes. So what about the holes that are around the wall? What are they for? The holes and the bottom... Uh, both have function that they absorb water and the gases. The pits are used alternately. When one is full, the excretia is diverted into the second pit. OK, so basically the human faeces mixed with the water becomes part of the soil over time. Yes, after it, right. de decomposes it decomposes because there, okay. are, there are bacteria in the soil. Over the time, the sludge is digested using already present anaerobic bacteria and creates almost dry, pathogen-free, safe manure, which can be used as fertilizer. How many have you got of these across India? How does yes. it all work now? We have installed about 1.3 million toilets like this. 1.3 million? Yes. That's incredible. So most places that we would go to in India, we could see these yes, in yes, most cities, course, yeah, if yeah. not all. OK, so we can go and have a look at that now. Okay. As well as installations funded by the government, Sulab's built more than 7,500 public toilet complexes, which it's funded by charging users a small fee. So, Gaurav, this is one of the two-pit toilets in action. Yeah. Um, it's at a temple. By chance, uh, uh, this today has the time uh, to get, uh, get clean, so you will be able to see that they... There is no smell, there is no pathogen, no bacteria is coming out. I'm a bit nervous about seeing what's underneath there. Hmm. But we've got some gentlemen who are going to come and help us have a look. All right, this is okay. the moment of truth, yeah. Gaurav. No, you stand close oh, no, and no, smell no, it no. up. <laughs> Don't worry, you only have cockroaches in here. Big ones. <laughs> so you can see there is no smell inside here. Yeah? See? Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure. test this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, no, there is no smell, to be fair. No, <laughs> the bacteria has died out. The pathogens have died out. So there's no problem in touching them. Now, the only thing what you do is that you keep it up, uh, keep it outside into the sun or maybe open air for one day. Then those people who are uh, taking care of the plants, who are, uh, you know, growing plants, they will come and they will... And it's probably the finest manure you can get. No, the best manure, organic yeah. manure in the world. Wow, OK, that is incredible science, isn't it? And it is really simple. You've yes, got yes. human waste coming down the toilet, sits here for a couple of years, and it becomes this. 
recent developments also allow the methane gases to be harvested during the digesting process and used as a fuel for lighting and cooking. It may be difficult for many people to comprehend, but billions of people around the world still don't have access to any form of sophisticated sanitation. But it's cheap and simple solutions which deal with human waste at source, such as this two-pit toilet, which can really make a difference, particularly in countries like here in India, where there's little or no clean water and limited access to sewerage systems. But the biggest challenge is the sheer scale of it. You need a lot more of these to really make a difference. Simple sanitation technologies, which don't rely on expensive infrastructure, offer huge potential for reducing disease in many parts of the world. Yet we don't just need new technologies to improve this problem, we need a change of philosophy to stop thinking of sewage as something to be disposed of and seeing it as an actual resource laden with nutrients and energy that we can use to make money and actually solve some of the problems the world is facing.